I was looking at it and I actually thought, oh my God. Mm. What's this? I felt like going. Right, Diego. I mean. Oh, we've seen this. This is 1986 no, 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 that you no, 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 said. We've you... seen this on all our TVs, even since we've been young. This is the one that they, I don't know if they've brought it up to 4K, but we see this every, <laughs> every other, other month. This was a goal. I was close, I was on the pitch. We should let him I was talk on, about uh, it. Yeah, come on. No. Yeah, you don't need me talking about this. Talk us through this now, come on. Come right. On, okay. You had a bird's eye view of it. You were right behind it. Oh, well, I did watch him run away from Peter Reid and numerous did, others and go past Terry. Where was you? said he was quick though. Could you not get back and help out? Get back, he never defended in his life. <laughs> I was at the right at the other end. <laughs> Although he did pick it up, <laughs> he did pick it up in his own half. But, but, and this is a very important but, just before Diego Maradona gets the ball, there is a hideous foul on Glenn Hoddle that's not yeah. given. Then the ball's given to Diego. Neither of the goals should have been given. Obviously, the hand of God was also in that game, Micah. Remember that? Yes, I remember, remember that. That, yeah. game. that was the first and one. That was the first one. Then a few minutes later, he get, and then after the foul on Glenn Hoddle, which when anyone sees it goes, oh my God, which VL would have overturned the goal 100%. And we won 1-0. I scored the only goal. We went on to win the World Cup. In re that's what should have been the reality. <laughs> but, th but honestly, I saw Diego get it. And, and Maradona, when, even when we're on the pitch with it, you just you were in awe of him because he was so obviously better than everybody else. Yeah. And then there were players in that World Cup, like, you know, Platini and Zico and people like that, but it was on a, like another planet. And this pitch we played on was the worst, I think, pitch you could ever play on in any World Cup in history because they'd had problems with the growth and they had to relay the pitch just before the game. And you know, like when you do your garden with little squares of turf. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. And, and every time you put your foot on it, it would move away. So to do that first bit of skill where he goes, I couldn't even try to do it and he beat and then he scogs away and then he goes past well he runs away from Reed and then he goes past Fennick Fennick who'd already got a yellow card would definitely have hoofed him down otherwise and then Terry Butchery turns inside out and then you think he's going to finish it and he drags it past Shilton it was just a breath it was I was looking at it and I actually thought oh my god mm. What's this? I felt like going but you not that you ever would because obviously part of me was gutted but it was like Genius. How can you do that on this pitch, in these conditions, at this, in the quarter final of a World Cup against England? And it was, you know, just two or a few years after the Falklands thing, and there was all that pre game stuff that we were. Was he the best player you ever played against? Oh, by a country yeah. mile. So is he, he's better than, better than anyone else I've ever seen. Better than Pele. Pele, I didn't see enough of because I only caught him at the end of his career. 70 was the. So it's not fair to judge and I think you can only really judge the best players in what you, you with your own eye okay. and so I would say Messi and, and Messi is yeah. the only other person that I think is comparable.